Joining us now is James Oberg, NBC analyst and space engineer. So, uh, James, one of the reports said that this solar tsunami could affect our cellular phones, and I'm assuming that's why we couldn't get your interview up and running on Skype because of the northern lights. Please tell me that that is not the case. No, no camera. No, that was just practice. <laughs> that was, uh, just, that practice. was just a simulation. So what is going on here with this solar eruption? These flares occur re regularly, and sometimes they do get strong enough to affect communications, voice communications, even worse, uh, things like credit card charging. A couple of years ago, most of the credit card charging machines at gas stations across the Midwest shut down, and people actually couldn't even drive. They're, they didn't have enough cash to buy gas. So uh, these things will, will happen. This time we're probably just going to get good light shows because the flares weren't super strong. There are stronger ones being predicted for two or three years from now. So let me ask you, since we're going to get a good light show, some people were able to see it last night. Where's the best place to see it tonight and around what time? Well, it's a double winner because the farther north you go, the better light show you get and the cooler weather. Uh, so further north, cooler weather. So where does that put me? Pictures are coming in from Wisconsin, Michigan. Uh, of course, a lot of people in Canada are seeing it, northern Europe. And one of the best places would have been aboard the space station that actually flies through these curtains of light. Well, the that, pictures... that would be the best place, but let's be honest, we're not there. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I would love oh, to be God. on the space yeah. station. But how rare is this, at least uh, to the degree we're able to see it these last two days? This is pretty unusual, and the sun's been pretty quiet recently. So this is a surprise that one big flare was hit Sunday. Right. It set a second one, and it sends bursts out into space randomly, bursts of gas. This time, the burst was heading right for our nose. Right for and, our nose. That's pretty and cool. And that's why it hit. Usually it misses. Well, this will be amazing if folks are able to see it tonight. I guess that means I've got to drive a little bit further. Uh, so, <laughs> you and me both. So you, I envy them because I've never seen it. Oh, wow. Well, we see great images uh, caught on tape. James, we greatly appreciate it. It's a hot topic on the Internet. A lot of people buzzing about this Northern Light Show. Thank you.